One of those micronutrients that a lot of farmers are wondering about that we see more and more publicity on is boron. Everybody thinks about uh, 20 mule team boron uh, wagons that came out of uh, uh, the far west. I don't know whether it still does or not, but uh, Eric Morsink, uh, who is uh, one of the uh, uh, researchers uh, at the University of Illinois, you're, you're looking at boron and what's, uh, what, what, do, what does boron do to a corn crop? So yeah, boron is a very important micronutrient and as the Crop Physiology Laboratory is fo focusing on high yield corn, uh, boron is very, it's very important for the reproductive part, so for tassel and for the silks and also for the development of cobs. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to see, uh, oh, boron is a very immobile uh, nutrient on a plant, so it's, it doesn't move very much on the plant. So what I'm trying to see if it uh, with uh, different sources, different uh, rates and different timings, we can make the nutrient move more in the plant. When you say move, physically move from the roots up to the leaves and the tassel and all of that, it's, it just doesn't move very fast very far. Yeah, it doesn't move very, fa very fast and it is physically moving. Uh, but I am working with uh, foliar sprayed boron, so uh, we're going to look through, throughout the season if the boron is going to move in the plant to the to, to other parts in the plant, yeah. What is the capacity that boron has to uh, uh, increase a yield? Is this uh, something that people are going to see really wow or, well, it may be paid for itself, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So that's something that I am also going to see, but uh, mostly it's, it works in the in the tassel and in the how how many kernels are actually going to grow in the in the cob, and yeah how 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 good are the tassel and the silks going to work together? Okay, yeah. they've got to do that to make a yield. So yeah. uh, uh, is there how does it how does it do that? Is it just inside? It's certainly not anything anybody could see. Yeah, it's not. You, you can't really see, you, you only see the deficiency of boron if, uh, if you see some ears that are, are not fully developed or uh, not fully developed uh, tassel and, and yeah. So if you got some, some lacking as far as the ears, lacking as far as the tassel health, all that, that may indicate that boron could give it a boost next year or the next crop that you put on. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. Does it, does it, is there any difference between one type of corn and another, whether it's uh, regular corn, short corn, uh, sweet corn? <laughs> yeah, so I, I am only looking in tall corn or regular corn, and maybe that's an idea for next, next year's, yeah. <laughs> we appreciate the information from um, Eric Morsink, uh, who is uh, uh, one of those graduate students at the University of Illinois uh, in Crop Physiology Department.